So this is Douglas Kellner, uh, co-chair, and uh, I also uh, have online um, Commissioner Spano. Um, my guess is that uh, uh, Commissioner Krasinski um, is uh, with the lawyers still doing the election hearings and those hearings uh, are still ongoing and so uh, there will not be a report to the commissioners until those hearings conclude and we are told that that will be um, still at least 15 minutes uh, from now so um, uh, you can continue to stand by and uh, we'll give you another report in 15 minutes if the meeting has not started by that time. Right, is Commissioner Cassell. And on uh, video, we have Commissioners Kellner and Spano. And we'll open up today's meeting. We're just doing one item or a series of items today, but they're all related to ballot access. Uh, the board staff has been going through petition challenges and reviewing petitions for the last few weeks. So the board has before it reports by the staff regarding two sets of or types of petitions. One are designating petitions that were filed uh, for the primary in August. And then there's the independent petitions that were filed for the uh, general election in November. So the first uh, set I'd like to take are the de designating petitions. We have a list of uh, findings by the staff uh, on the uh, list that was given to us. And I would entertain either a motion or question or any discussion that people would like to have on that particular document. That's the one I'm looking at, the designating prima facie review and hearings for state board elections on June 27, 2026. Is there a motion or any discussion? Uh, I don't know that I have that document in front of me. Um, well, then let's wait until the commissioner has that document. Is, is, I guess I just emailed it to you. <coughs> Mary Ellen just made okay, the last update. Okay, designation prima facie review petitions. That's the one. Right. Okay. And, and there was an update from this morning's hearing that you should have on this list as well. Okay, I have the list. Do any of the candidates or objectors want to be heard? Yeah. I'm sorry. Are you here for designating petition no. or independent? We're going to do that next. So let's wait for that. So for the designating petitions, I don't believe there's anybody here, Commissioner, to uh, speak on any of the designating petitions. Okay. And then adopt the report. So we have a motion by Commissioner Keller to adopt the report. Do we have a second? Second. By Commissioner Cassell. Uh, any discussion? Then all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? So that is unanimously carried. Those uh, findings are approved by the board. So the second set of, uh, of the report is the independent prima facie and hearings of the state board elections for today. And again, there was an updated list that was provided to the commissioners this morning. Does do all the commissioners have that list? This is the one that says prima facie review. The first one is Driggers, then Cohen, then Goldfine. No, 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 that's not the right one. No, this one, the first one would be Saleh, and then Joseph, and then Eisner are the first three candidates. And it's entitled independent. Yeah, the title of the document is independent prima facie review. I don't have that document. Um, okay, hold let's on. Make sure you get. Hold on. We'll we'll make sure you get that. You have don't, I don't have it either. All right. Okay. So,
You should have gotten it from Dawn. I have it. Okay. You have it now? Yes, I have. Okay, you want a minute to look at it? So and then we can talk about it. Sayla, Joseph, Eisner, Annan, Ilano, and Ramos. Correct. That's correct. Okay. That's the first page. Does anyone want to be heard? Yeah, we yeah. do have a, we do have someone here to be heard on these uh, on this particular document. Um, so I guess we'll let him speak first, I think, before we get any motions on the floor. So uh, if you want to <laughs> introduce yourself, and then you'll be speaking to all, you know, the whole room. So stand for you can see everybody if you can. Oh, how you doing? My name's Kaboki Stora. Uh, I'm an independent candidate on the Freedom Party. I'm running for governor of the New York State. And I'd like to speak on my petitions because um, I'm, I wasn't properly, I wasn't served with any objections or um on. I'm anything sorry I to interrupt, Mr. Store, but um, could he stand? Is that right, sir? He can be seen on camera. Oh, he can't. He, can't you see him? Right there. He's on the other main screen. He's right. You can't see that. I'm sorry. Um, All right. I can, I, I can now, see him. I see him on the live stream, but I don't. Uh, you want I me to sit down on the WebEx? Oh, no. um, I think it's better. See. Maybe I can but... change the layout here. To Hold see. on. Just give him a second. That's the WebEx right there on the left, right? Yeah. I don't know what they're that's looking at. That's our WebEx. Yeah. Well, okay, now I see him. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's okay. Sure all, right. I, all right, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes, um, all my, my, they not serve me proper. And on all my cover sheet, you know, it has my apartment on it. And that's the same thing that happened on my Republican um, ballot, that these people keep on. Oh, falsifying my documents. You know, I gave them over 90,000 uh, petitions. You understand? And I believe that these people is high-ranking white supremacists that does, that, that, that try to fact falsify black candidates and, and Hispanic candidates so their name won't be on the ballot and that they won't be heard in the hearing because they not properly serve me. And even a uh, council member right here was there when I, I showed them the, all my cover sheet on my independent ballot has my apartment on it. And and these these guys, you know, that that I feel is high ranking white supremacists, you know, they not they didn't serve me. In that in the proof of service, it has it right here that they sent it to the street but not my apartment. And on my voter registration card, it has my apartment and on all my cover sheet, it has my apartment. And they these guys on that object to my petition never served me and I gave them over 90,000 petition man and this is not right that what's going on with blacks and Hispanics. Oh. All right, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but this is on the prima facie list, right? Yes, it is. It, it, it is. So Actually, let me just ask a quick question. Objections is not the issue here, right? And, and what was the prima facie finding? There was no lieutenant governor candidate as required by statute of court. Well, there, there's also the issue of uh, 45,000 signatures are required, and the petition has 37,500. That's a lie. 
I gave them over 90,000 um, signature petition, and this uh, uh, member was there that day when I when I when all all my 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 uh, cover sheet had my apartment. They never served me anything, and this is what they purposely did so I won't come to the hearing and to be heard. They never served me. The affidavit of proof of service does not have my address. Does right, not have the address on my cover sheet. That's not an issue in the prima facie review. This decision I, again, I gave made. them 90,000 signatures. I gave them over 90,000 um, um, petitions. And again, these people is um, falsifying blacks and Hispanic um, candidates names off these ballots. And I believe that these people is high ranking white supremacist members that should be investigated by the FBI. I'm surprised they they, they getting they, they being allowed to do this by the FBI, man. Sorry, I'm sorry, and, and and it's really hurting our country, man. This, this, this white supremacist stuff is, is really hurting our country. And on my on my cover sheet, it has my apartment. On my voter registration, it has my apartment. Oh, I gave this man was standing right there when I gave them over ninety thousand petitions. These people is on, on, on falsifying blacks and Hispanic candidates. I'll put names over so they won't be on the ballot, man. Are you saying that you filed 90,000 signatures? Yes, yes, sir. Why do we only have 37,000? Like I said, man, sir, this this man that's a member that was right there when I when I when I did everything, took all my petitions. I don't know what these white these people I feel is high ranking white supremacists. Okay, I don't know what games they play, but they know my address to serve me with anything they got problem with my petition. They know my address. They 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 serve. My, the address without my apartment, and I have over 500 apartments in my building, so it's impossible for me to receive it. I'm sorry, I don't know I was young. We're, we're just talking two different issues here. I'm just trying to understand. You said you filed 90,000. Yes, sir. So we should. And have, he was standing right there. In our offices, you're saying there's 90,000 signatures. I gave these guys 90,000 signatures. He was standing right there. Out of just curious, the gentleman says we got ninety thousand signatures. I'm only, only sure. He was standing right there, man. And Maybe I can understand. We counted the number of signatures claimed in the petition. And it's thirty-seven. And Todd, do you That's have a lie. available? That's a lie. The I gave him ninety thousand. Do you, Do you have available the statute site for the requirement for lieutenant governor? I'm running for governor. I'm not running for lieutenant. Governor. I think the Article Seven provision uh, tells us that they have to appear on the ballot. Um, together, and I believe that um, the relevant a relevant case is um, matter of Thompson v. Cohen, 77 AD 3rd, uh, 1016 of 2010. And, and what's the holding in that case? And the, the, and the state constitution provides um, in Article 4, Section 1, that the governor and lieutenant governor shall be chosen at the general election, uh, and they shall be chosen jointly by the casting by each voter of a single vote applicable to both offices. So, so, so the case was a holding that by not having a lieutenant governor, the the petition is defective. I have to, I have to, I am not intimately familiar with the specific holding of of the case. All right, but it, it doesn't have the requisite signatures anyway. It, it does not have the requisite number of signatures. I gave them 90,000 signatures, Judge. I, I, um, commission, I gave him 90,000 signatures, and he was right there when I gave him these signatures, and I explained to him that these people is rem illegally removing my name, and I believe that they are high-ranking white supremacists. He was standing right there when I explained all so, the Mr. Terms. Saylor, you have... You, you do have the right to go to court to challenge our ruling. You, you said what, sir? You have three days to go to court to challenge our ruling. So, so y'all saying that y'all removing my name off the ballot, even though I wasn't served? I wasn't served. You're and not the proof of service does not served. have my address. You you're said what? You're, we're not doing this on the basis of objections. We're doing this on the on our own review of the petition which and is what was that we call a prima facie review if the petition itself doesn't comply with the law 
We were 90,000 petitions doesn't comply with the law. All right. I, I, I hear you, but the, the staff says that they counted and it doesn't have. Man, I believe your staff is high ranking white supremacist, man. I, 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 I really so, believe all y'all is, 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 is white supremacists, man. Y'all are legally removing we'll people's names off the ballot. And, and I'm not properly served. You still granting whatever you're doing offer. I never was served. You, you knowing that law pertain to me being black. You know that I'm not served. I just brought that to your you attention. You know be that because I'm black. You That's said what? what? I keep trying to tell you is that you don't have to be served. Why doesn't I have to be served if I gave you 90,000 signatures, sir? Look. So there's another point I'd like to make very quickly. Um, you asked a moment ago about um, matter of Thompson v. Cohn, um, and indeed, you know, I did not want to um, to represent to you the holding in that case, having not actually read it, but only read an excerpt from it. Um, I have just now read the case, and it does very clearly hold that on an independent nominating petition, there needs to be a candidate for governor and lieutenant governor, and absent the lieutenant governor candidate petition is invalid. I just wanted to call that to your attention. So, Mr. Sandler, do you understand that? That, that what you said? your petition has to include both a candidate for governor and a candidate for lieutenant governor. Otherwise, Listen, it's defective. I, everything on my petition was proper. I'm explaining to you, I was not served with any of these things y'all told to. I gave y'all 90,000 signatures. Now you're saying, I, I didn't do my, my documents is it's wrong that, that my petition is wrong that I I, 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 I gave you out is invalid because it even though I gave you ninety thousand lieutenant governor nine, even though I gave you ninety thousand and they never served me this, this is what you're saying they gave I gave them ninety thousand signatures even, and, even and I if never, it had never ninety thousand you said what. Even if it had 90,000, it would still be defective because it doesn't have a candidate for lieutenant governor. So now you're taking away my, my, my signatures because you're saying that I didn't put a lieutenant governor on him. You're going to take away my 90,000 signatures. This is what you're doing, Councilman, right? That's the law. That you remove, you remove my 90,000 signatures because you're saying I never put a lieutenant governor on my petition. That's the. You said what? That's why you doing that? Can I hear? A yes or no, sir? Yes. yes. That's the law. Okay. Okay. Can I get a decision so I can bring this to court, or I don't need it? No, you. We'll we'll do it. No, you need a decision. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time for being heard. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anybody else here that would like to speak on any of the petitions that are being considered? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion by any any uh, commissioner. I move, I, move, I move that we accept the uh, staff recommendations. So I have a motion. Anybody second? Second by Commissioner Cassell. Uh, any other discussion? If not, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? I hear none. It was unanimous. So both of the uh, documents were approved by the board unanimously. That's the only business I have before the board today. Is there anything else any other commissioner would like to bring before the board? If not, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn so moved. until so our next meeting, which is July 13th. July 13th, which will be a full board meeting as opposed to today, which is just on the petition. So uh, with that is in mind, I'll have- My understanding I'm, is July 13th is just uh, Petitions again. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was a full meeting. Yeah. I think it is a full meeting. I think, <laughs> think July 13th is a full meeting. And if he is in public, no. public, sir, public, public finance commission will meet in August. Yeah, they're um, not going to meet, but I, that's the difference. If that's the you case, it was just you a, consider doing July 14th instead? I, I can't do, I can't do July 14th. How about the, how about the 12th? Hold on, let me look at mine. Let me, let me check. Let me just check the 14th. I'll check it, but I, I don't think I'm going to do Actually, the, the 12th would be better for me, too. The 12th isn't great. I'm okay. On the All right, we'll do the 12th. Thank you okay. so much. I appreciate it. Okay.
So uh, with that in mind, we uh, will adjourn the meeting until July 12th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you all. Yeah, it's done with the board. You can end our feed, please.